Welcome back, Internet. Welcome to Bucket Detective. Now, I'm chilled, and I usually don't play single-player games that often. Well, I do sometimes, only when they seem interesting. And this game was actually made by the same creator of The Static Speaks My Name. Remember the, uh, the game that spoke about suicide? We played that last year. I don't fully remember the, the lesson behind it. I'm excited. I, I, I love little weird, interesting games like this. Uh, and I wouldn't really say it's an artistic game, but it's a game that's supposed to make, it can be interpreted differently. It's like when you're in ninth grade English and you have to read a poem and then write a summary about what this poem really meant. That's what some of these games are like. You, a 41-year-old man, David Davids. You are writing a book called Bucket Detective. You want to play a game, book David Davids? Book not good. Oh, okay. Truthfully, you not care about write book. You not even like read books because reading gets headache from make think too hard. <laughs> Sounds like someone I you know. You are married to wife who is abusive. Oh, never By mind. Abusive? You mean she not do perverted sex whenever demanded? Oh. To get perverted sex, you approach girls in the street. But they not give it, and instead call you creep and pig. <laughs> the fuck? This is why you is writing Bucket Detective. Famous book make it impossible for girls to resist sex, <laughs> especially classes girls at nearby community college. Of course, at least they're over the age of 18, and that's important. With a friend of yours who have recent success in business, you say, writing book is hard. <laughs> is there not an easy way to write great books? How do I get big on YouTube? Friend of yours smile with mischief and says, say, yes, yes oh, there is. There is a way. He hand you card with address and say, go here and do what asked of you. In exchange, you will get what is desired. And if you not like, you leave any time. Do not think more than one second to decide this is plain because it's much simpler to create good words on an empty page. Ah. So, one cold and rainy morning, you arrive at address and enter front door. <laughs> it's a cult building. This looks we are joining a religious cult. Also, he talks like Kevin Malone from The Office. Sometimes less words you use point better. Dial 359, use right click to show hide card. Dial 359. No, we can't leave the- well, what if we do leave the cult? Do we die if we leave the cult? Do we drink the cool- This situation just not for you. No, man, back down. I'm sure if building too creepy, or you just not like help anyone with anything, you go back home. That's my choice, I- more on Bucket Detective, oh. but it no longer worth it when you find out some girls say yes to sex if given money. <laughs> okay. They're not too pretty and oh. won't give poison to your bedroom parts, but <laughs> they is pervert when paid enough. You sell desk and computer and car to pay for sex, but after several months, things to sell run out. Yeah, I Wife, can imagine so. Of course, so. she gone by now, and you realize maybe you like her more than you thought. Uh, grass is always greener. On TV, huh? there is talk of great war that is coming, but <laughs> oh well, best not to pay attention to things that not completely have to do with you. Seems like most of American society, to be honest. Yeah, if it doesn't involve me, I don't want any part of it. Ending three of five? Wow. Okay, well, we beat the game already. Now that I've got a little idea behind it, we're looking to get laid. Now, in the, I guess this doesn't have the day and age of Tinder, where you could just get laid pretty much at a notice's whim. So we want to write a book. If we finish the book, we get laid. Uh, but the problem is we also have a wife. So maybe we should make a book. Maybe we should write an erotic fan fiction to make our wife horny so she lays us so we don't cheat on our wife, we make money, and we get laid. That sounds like a win-win. Arrive at Four Brave Amber Boulevard. September 13th, 9 a.m. All right. Oh. Oh, that's kind of artistic. Yeah, that's definitely cultist. It's raiding on their parades. We're gonna look for deep symbolic things on here. This guy did the Nazi rain dance and this guy's getting upset it's actually raining. They shouldn't be called Nazis because their logo looks like, like a weird F. We'll call them Fatsis. It's an Italian gang. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, a secret note. Beth. Beth, you don't have to come home. You don't do anything you don't want. But please, let your brother and me know you're safe and getting our letters. Please, please, please. All is forgiven. All is forgiven. With unending love, Mom. Gwen, please respond to this as Beth, of course, before we get unexpected visitors. Cyrus. Beth offended Mom. Mom forgives her. This is a weird cultist hotel. I'm pretty sure this is Scientology in a nutshell when you first go in. Okay, let's well, not get electric. Well... Looks like we're not going to be dialing 359. Little intercom buster thing. What do we got here? Hi, my name is Gwen Sleepless. 
I'm a 23-year-old white Gwen. male, and I'm the building's maintenance man, cook, and I also I thought Gwen toilets. was a girl's name. I thought it would be nice if once the Dark Lord is reborn to bring in 10,000 years yeah. of terror, <laughs> okay. to visit the place where it all began. This kind is of where... like a museum to the origin of their torment. That makes sense. So I've installed these boxes, which I call Gwen boxes, all over the building to explain the significance of different areas. Okay. Obviously, since the Dark Lord Mishriel, the seven-tongued slayer of kings, the roaster of the innocent, the defiler of the damned has yet to rise, these Gwen boxes are kind of a work in progress. Like early access. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Wow, okay, that's a lot to take in on the first thing. Yeah, I think we should maybe leave right now. Uh, unless the defiler of the def what does he say? Defiler of the innocents? Unless they're gonna give me money to get laid. Uh, but I thought once once the Dark Lord comes, sex is good. Like sex with strangers is good. So these are these are cultists. But why why are the tears making them go? I don't understand that part. Also, at least the cultists kinda like temperature control, which doesn't really matter when we're all burning in hell. It's gonna be hot in here enough. I have good choice in succulents and plants too. Shrine to the female reproductive system. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh my God, I have to censor that because that is uh, that's that's a that's a interesting penis. That is, wow. That's probably what a T Rex looks like with tiny arms and a huge dong. Okay, all right. I think we've done enough praying to the female reproductive system. Three. Look at that. It's not- doesn't take a genius, but my brain's working correctly. Nice. Oh, look at that. I got a little check mark in real time. Submit the necessary paperwork. I didn't know there was gonna be paperwork. Uh... Okay, that's so awkward when I ask you to do paperwork and you're like, Oh, can I have a pen and paper? I didn't think there was gonna be necessary paperwork to join the cult. Sacrifice fi- No! No, we're going home! No, I need that finger. In case I don't get laid, that's my masturbatory hand, unless it's my left hand, in which then I could sacrifice a finger. Um... This is dumb written on it. Bucket Detectives by David Davids. Page one, paragraph one, line one. Main character introduced. He awoke with fear and a gun in his hand, and on the road to... The Diamond Shore, where all the whores may be. <laughs> Okay, that was not good. Oh, why aren't you freaking out like I am? Oh, yeah, it's just a fucking normal day at the Ritual Cult Society. Oh, look at that. I was right. Okay, all right. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna affect the story later on. Oh, oh good, another page. The Journal of Gwen Sleevis, the one who's installing our little radio boxes around the work in progress. My journal keeps falling out and making me lose them. I guess that's what happens when you buy a used journal that is basically rotting. I'm poor, haha. <laughs> Open. There was literally no point to this room. If you're an architect, this must be driving you mad. Father's offices. These are the offices of the two fathers, Dr. Z.W. Francis and Jedediah Holcomb, who were the founders and leaders of our happy little... <laughs> I almost said cult, <laughs> but it's a religion. There, there is a difference. That's true, cults you don't have to pay. believe that they were in fact one being that had been divided into two bodies for fear that if one being had so much knowledge, power, and sexual charisma, <laughs> the universe would be torn into shreds. My birth so right to there. To keep that great power separated, the fathers worked without ever meeting face to face oh. or speaking aloud to one another. Instead, they communicated by passing letters through the mail slot between their offices. Oh. It was in this way that they laid down the laws of Mishriel. The God Among Gods, the Gimp in the Graveyard, the Puss of Xanadu. That sounds disgusting. The Puss of Xanadu. Well, we got Dr. Z.W. Francis, who looks like a wholesome man, but he's got, like, two noses. Or, my favorite, Jebediah, my favorite religious name. Looks like the Eye of Sauron over there. We're gonna go Jebediah, he sees all. So, so much sexual charisma. Have they ever thought about contacting me to do a live action performance of this game? I could be both the, the characters in one. All right, what do we got, Jebediah? What are you working on? Okay, clearly that is not good English. To whom it may concern, to whom it may concern, to whom it may concern, not really much information going on here. Oh, oh, well, what's this? By the Royal Father's decree, when this document is stamped and submitted, thus begins the final phrase of Mishra's rebirth. No, let's just put that back in for now. Oh, no, no, I'm not ready to stamp that. Okay, uh, we'll just put that on the table. No, 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 no! Leave it on the table. We are not touching that. No, 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 no. Unless we want to have sex. But I'm never going to finish my book if I have sex. <sighs> All right, what do they have to say here? Jedediah Holcomb, known as the Mystic, was a hypnotist, psychologist, poet, meditation guru, and expert on world religions. 
Uh. His most significant work was the unification of all major religious texts to place the Dark Lord himself at the center. Uh, of course, the Quran, yes. the Everyone Bible. Everyone from Jesus Christ oh. to the Buddha were in fact pawns of Mishriel, the breather of bile, the decapitator of slaves, the withholder of orgasms. Oh, come on. You can't cock block me. Withholder of orgasms? You're... No, no, no. Not without a prayer first can you come forth. All right, what if we leave? Okay, yeah, that's good. We learned a little bit about Jebediah. Little crazy, likes to withhold orgasms. But then again, most religious people are probably withholding orgasms, let's be honest. Open door. Oh. The pacifier, vocal muffler for surgery performed without anesthesia. Patient awaiting voluntary surgery. I, that, those don't look like the eyes of a voluntary man, but okay. Uh, collapsible speculum. That is what goes inside the vagina. Female anatomy, female anatomy, female anatomy. A brief history of the vagina. When gentlemen conversate, C.W. Francis has really likes vagina uh, and pain. Request to Lord Mitchell in exchange for service. So Cyrus wants 10,000 virgin girls. That's very inappropriate. Max wants to be really good with computers and have time money. Kyle wants a sword which kills my enemies. So this is essentially what people usually pray to God for. Okay. Girl, I want to be my brother's talent manager. Meanwhile, get tons of pussy. For example, getting pussy while he's on the job and I don't have to do too much. <laughs> okay, all right. Dr. C.W. Francis, known as the Scholar, was a mathematician, physicist, biologist, Vagina inventor, enthusiast. painter, and most importantly, a medical doctor specializing in the female reproductive system. Vagina enthusiast. He was the first physician to do a deep, deep, deep study of the female body, from a medical perspective, of course. And had the fools in the medical establishment not misinterpreted his work and taken away his license to practice medicine, the writings and tools he developed would be the cornerstone of modern gynecology. I feel a little awkward. Just gonna put it out there. I don't like... I just feel a little awkward. Doctor. Oh, but what about that stamp? Do I have to double stamp it? I think I need to double stamp. Because I have to pass it through. Do -do 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 -do. Insert paper. I am both Jebediah. And I am ZW Vagina Enthusiast. See, the problem here... I think I'm the Dark Lord. Because I'm doing both of their jobs. I am the one being combined. Oh, well. Boop. We approve. Yep, we have... Look, we are the two missing halves as one. Oh, wait, hold on. This is important. It brings about the end of the world. Nope. End of the... End. Um... Thank you. Okay, what is going on here? Oh, the paper's some kind of magical paper. Fine. We'll put it through there and we'll go on to the other side to receive it. Forgot, we're using magical Harry Potter paper. Alright. Uh, yep, bring upon the end of the world. Thank you. Oh. That's convenient. Okay, can maybe with the end of the world comes on, we can get some lights in this fucking office. Received the truth from the two fathers? Sounds like the Holy Communion. Okay. Uh, the truth. Oh! Okay, I'm ready to receive the truth. Oh, is this another note from Gwen? The fathers asked me to interior redecorate the building, but people have been complaining that they don't understand why there's so many plates, forks, and spoons in the walls. For their information, FTI, I saw a TV show about a palace in Europe, and they had plate spoons on the walls there. So sue me for trying to make this place more elegant and give some fucking class. That's why if you ever find an escort, you want a classy escort. Not a classless, godless, soulless escort. You want an escort that has some class. People also complain about having only like three paintings and decorations, but these are ZW's favorite paintings, and he painted he wants copies all over the place. So you have a problem with that? That's not my problem. Haha. <laughs> okay. I have zero questions. No, <laughs> actually, I have a lot of questions, but I know I'm gonna get zero answers, so sometimes it's best not to ask questions. Um... No, 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 no. Oh! Are we about to receive communion? Or are we about to confess our sins? Interesting. Theater! With the rebirth of the Dark Lord soon to come, the fathers needed to be certain which of their followers were true believers. The one who so lost the fucking a finger! challenge called the Believer's Waltz. The fathers then sat in the chairs on this stage and telepathically delivered the precise steps required to complete the waltz. Like a dance? Those who completed the waltz were to be blessed with the gifts of the Dark Lord, while those who could not were locked away to die. Seems completely reasonable, like most religions. Okay. The Dark Lord wants me to dance for his amusement and to prove that I am worthy, that I have received his knowledge. Double doors. Um. Okay. Holy remain. Oh, so he is dead. Oh, I don't think I should be doing that. 
Oh shit. Uh, return urn. Uh, let's pray for a moment. Dear Dr. ZW, ZW Francis, give us strength to be able to do the dance and not locked away to our death. Oh man, I don't know if they do the cross, but that's what we did growing up, so I don't know what kind of religion. Oh, they probably do the, the zigzag weird symbol. Ooh, let's see. What... On February 18th, the fathers delivered their seed to the holy female vessel and then died of simultaneous heart attacks. <laughs> I know if they were coming, they're going. Their ashes preserved in urns, while their souls were released into the building. No, that's so not that good. On the Dark Lord's rebirth, they would be one with Mishriel. How do you the put a soul prince, into a building? The of Babel, the apple among the corn. That's not even a real saying. Okay, so they <laughs> they were fornicating and then had a heart attack. That's a good way to die. I mean, if I had to choose to go, I guess I would. Why is all those kneeling things there? They must do a lot of kneeling in this religion. All right. We're gonna put the urn on this one. I don't know if I'm supposed to do- Oh, wow! Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Can't pay me enough to go in there. Okay. We will return the urn. All of this work, all of this religion- Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm waltzing, but not- The force is strong with this one! Please, let me go! Anakin! Oh, well, you know what? Let's, let's put this up. Oh, because the fathers can't ever see each other. I guarantee if I go over here, it's gonna push him away. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. These, there was a mystical power going on. Well then. Okay. This is kind of strange. Deliver me. What the fuck? Boop. 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 Ah, uh, I just squashed the cantaloupe. What? Wait, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Good. Okay. Bad. Bad. Okay. What is this saying? Is this saying something? I don't know what I'm clicking. I'm just... Hey! Great. Okay, that's what I... To... Ah, yes, I have received the word. Let me in. If anyone can decipher what the game was, maybe I just rushed too fast. Please let me know what that was. Hello? Oh, God. Why is religion so dirty? Gwen, Gwen, Gustani, you have more things? Okay, yes. March 24th. I'm impressed with how Cyrus has run things since the Fathers died. He uses more physical violence than the Fathers. The Fathers just used their own aura to get what they wanted. But the threat of Mitchell's illness has really slowed since he took over. When he's not beating my back with a metal rake as punishment for something I've done, I'm usually thinking, now that's a cool guy. Okay. Uh... Well, this is like Sunday school when I'm getting in trouble. I had to pray facing the wall. I'm sorry, Jesus. <laughs> Thing ever. Okay, what is this? Begin walk. I don't remember what I was supposed to do. Uh. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Which way do we go? I am the true believer. Please don't kill me, I pray. Ah, uh, how long am I supposed to pray for? Dear God, can you make the Big Mac have zero calories? Amen. Do bum bum. Dear Lord, if it's possible to open up a Moe's close to me, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. I think my prayers aren't going to be answered, but then again, I'm not really sure what to pray for. Dear Lord, I didn't study for this exam. If I could pass, that'd be fantastic. I like the music, though. It kind of has a cool beat to it. Oh, oh, a little rotation. Oh, I am 
the true believer. Suck it, mom! He said I'd never get into heaven. Well, I mean, this isn't really in heaven, but this is close to what heaven's gonna be like. I mean, look at that guy. That Jesus looks wonderful. He's just spitting over everybody. Wait, 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 wait. Deliver the genderless child to the elevator. Oh, a tumbler child. Wonderful. Let's keep going. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Someone's gonna get mad at me for that. That's ah, okay. What's going on here? Why are we in the garbage? Why are we... Pick up. Okay. The Journal of Gwen. Oh, this is where Gwen sleeps. Gwen sleeps in the garbage? Haha, <laughs> my journal is terrible. Seriously, like, none of my pages are staying inside. Oh, well, at least he's self-aware. The Journal of Gwen. So excited because today I finally get to the Believer's Waltz. Cyrus warned me against, uh, against doing it because I wasn't at the ceremony. But I'm not worried because I know that I am a true-born believer. And I'll be able to complete the waltz. I can't wait to make the fathers, may they rest in peace, be so proud. I wasn't sure if I'd do this, but I thought visitors might want to know more about me. Their humble guide, Gwen Sleeveless. I appreciate it. So let's see. My parents died when I was two. Oh. I was sexually abused by the man who ran my orphanage. Oh. And I used to burn my face with cigarettes to get attention. Oh. Pretty standard stuff. No. I was 14 when I ran away, and 18 when the fathers took me in and gave me this bed, That's... which they graciously placed under a leaky pipe to strengthen my mental strength, which they said I had none of. When I'm not cleaning toilets, I write songs about the fathers, I draw pictures of the fathers, and I pray to the fathers. As you can tell, I'm a pretty lucky guy. I can't tell if he's being sarcastic or if he's actually indoctrinated into the father's belief system. But hey, he's got two dads now, and that's a good thing. I really do want to return someone's fork. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what is this called? Doth one small the cream hole? Ah, <laughs> yes. The final book in Free Cell Trilogy is indeed a book. Not terrible, bad maybe, but not terrible. By Mip and Nancy Free Cell. Doth one small into thy cream hole? That's okay, we'll just put the back back and we won't tell anyone about it. No, we're not returning your goddamn spoons. Oh, the whole hand. Not the right hand, I need that one, it's my dominant hand. Ah, uh, oh, at least our book is getting done. Page 63, paragraph 3, line 2. A touching romantic scene. <clears throat> Kiss me, babe, and never forget, your heart is like a bucket. A place to put someone you love, made of muscle and filled with blood, on the front of most Valentine's Day cards. A place to put someone you love. Ah! Right answer. Wrong answer. Ah, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Is that why he's called sleeveless? Because he lost his whole arms? We're going to be called, like, chilly handless. Oh, oh yeah. No band-aids, no tourniquets. That's fine. The, our lord and savior, Mishral, will heal our wounds. Maybe I'll become like Anakin. Or... Creepy music will play. Okay, Gwen, you got anything for me, buddy? June 4th, 1991. I was five days old. Beth seemed super nice, but when I brought her food today, she started crying and told me she was being held against her will, that the fathers had drugged her and raped her, and had ordered Cyrus to steal her child after birth. I explained to her that the sins of the world had corrupted her mind, and she is lucky is so close to the child's birth so that Mitchell can be reborn to cleanse the filth from the streets and also from her mind. It's a run on sentence. She didn't seem happy with my response. Haha. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on, let's, what the fuck? I just, I read that, but I didn't comprehend it. Trying to Mishril. Oh, he's like, looks like a turnip. What the fuck? It looks like that thing from Ah, Real Monsters. You know, the guy who holds the eyeball? Okay, yeah, I don't think we should be prying to this. Is it too late to turn around? No, we have to go further. And the fathers gave their seed to the woman with a pure heart. And seven months later, the genderless child was born. On that day, the Chosen One arrived and delivered the child to Mishriel, the father of the motherless, the leper among the clean, the jester of Gallipoli, so that he, the Dark Lord, would be reborn. The Gospel of John is interpreted by Jedediah Holcomb. That's my problem when it says interpreted. There is a lot of bias. Okay. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I got a little, I got chills. I didn't like, I thought it was just gonna be me in this place. Hold on. Are these mannequins? Nope. Those are real dongs. I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be a part of it. Hi. I don't... Okay. Hi. Oh, whoa, whoa. Do not bring the filth of the world to this holy place. Remove your clothes before entering. Do you have a changing room? Oh. Okay. Shoes. Uh... Was I only wearing shoes? <laughs> Thank you. It's good to be a part of this cult. Oh, okay. Good to see you, Bob. Good, good to see you, Jim. Good, good, good. I'm glad the gang's all here. Okay. Uh, no one's concerned that there's blood and 
Is she okay? I don't think she's okay. That's a lot of blood. I'm, is this all unfolding in real time? Is anyone confused by the timeline? I, I'm, dude, I am totally Mishril. I am taking the genderless child. I don't know what to do with this thing, man. I don't even know how to take care of a dog. I don't like, oh god, whoops, can we just put it, how about we just put it back up there? Like, and pretend like none of this ever happened, because Beth looks like a nice girl. Just go, why is the baby huge? Okay, okay. To the elevator. Beth, do you want to name the child? I'm, I'm thinking maybe Steven. Little Viking, little, little baby, okay, let's go. Uh, let's just put the baby there, perfect. I don't know where the elevator is. Hi, I'm not your daddy. Oh, shit. Banned? Why was I banned? Open the freaking door, take the shot. Oh God, there's blood in the car. That's not good. Stop crying, stop crying, stop crying. Let me just put the baby in here. Oh, perfect. No, 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 and perfect. Okay, good, good. <laughs> that's, that's, if your baby's crying, lock them in the closet. Then you don't have to deal with it. Although when the baby finally comes out of the closet, it may be a different kind of baby. A normal, more happy baby. What the f- Oh. Sleep tight, child. For we're about to find out what the hell Mishril needs. We are completing his rebirth. We- Uh. Did, did someone cut the- Someone cut the power? Oh, sorry. Oh, God. Oh, this is gonna be a dumb baby. Hold on. Uh, baby, let me get through the... Son of a fucking... God damn it, stop it, stupid child. Ow, fuck. Okay, when I found him, he was already dumb. rock bye baby, on the treetop. Going to see Mistral, I hope you don't... Stop breathing. Shut up, child. We should bathe the baby and clean him off from all this sludge. My legs? Or the baby's legs? Um... Oh, shit. I guess it's my legs. Baby, don't look. Oh, this... Oh! Oh! Bucket Detective by David Davids. Final page, final paragraph, final line. Tragic death of the detective. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Abel blank with stone and sin, but forgive the blank of blank. A bucket detective. Oh! Oh! Baby! Oh, that was dumb. Why did I... Oh, man. I didn't even see it. Wait, this is good. I didn't bring about the end of the world. So that makes me a hero. Oh shit, I'm regaining my consciousness and there's a lot of blood. Oh no. Oh, that's convenient. Don't worry, baby. We'll bring about the end of the world one way or another. Oh, wait, hold on. The baby just fell through the world. Ah, so convenient. Thank you. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. Jesus Christ. Okay, don't worry, child. We will figure out what's wrong with the world. Uh, that looks like dinner table. That looks like... Like, like you're serving for dinner. Sacrifice, baby. I swear to God, if they put, like, a heart through this child's chest, I'm bugging the fuck out. I'm gonna... I am... If they put a knife through the child's chest, not a heart through the child's chest, I'm quitting the game. I'm gonna alt F4 and gonna stop. Good, you don't really see it. Uh, hello? Hello? Maintenance? Are you... Are you... Does no one else have any questions? Okay. Alright. Return home. I... You roll out door and into street Ugh. and all go black. Two days later, you awake in hospital with pain surge through body. After long recovery, you return home with wooden finger, arm, and legs. But still, you use wheelchair because it feel like racing. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> we finally continue writing Bucket Detective. Words flow out of you like water out of an upside down cup. Within short time, book is finished and published and on many best book lists and so Oh! Books. Yes? With much success, you finally get a young girl as you've been warned. Some even much too young, if you catch my meaning. But morality have never been your favorite. We discussed subject. this, David. Over 18. Wife, she cared for you whole time of recovery, but That's... now best kick her out to make room for new girls. Meanwhile, major cities go up in flames and dark force take over world. 
Many are dying, many are infected with disease and psychosis and put into slavery, but you is not so interested. No. All you care do is roll in chair and make penis spin with your girls. <laughs> Life make is good. Penis spin. Life is good. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> make penis spit with girls. <laughs> okay. Um that was an interesting game. Uh, that was kind of a, uh, whew. That was one of those games where you just, you don't know what you're expecting. And I, I think, I think I understood the theme of this game, at least to me, seems as if all about self-pleasure, but then you do have the religious aspect of it. Uh, does religion bring self-pleasure? I don't, I don't know. I guess I have to think a bit about it a bit more. They're obsessed with anatomy and sex, and they raped a girl, which is never a good thing. Then they sacrificed. But if she was a runaway girl, they impregnated her. But if they both gave their seed, how, then which seed was it? Because they can't, I mean, look, it, it's, a, it's a sperm race game. At the end of the day, only one sperm wins, okay? There can't be two winners. If it ain't first or last when it comes to sperm. So how the hell did that baby have both of their seeds in it? What happens if we don't sacrifice the baby? What if we just... I don't know, take the baby and walk away. Look, the entire time so far has been about my own pleasure, about me doing things to better myself, about me finishing the book. So I, I sacrifice a bit of myself to finish the book every single time. Am I willing to do it to become a millionaire? But what if I just leave with the child? Then what happens? I don't have the self-pleasure, but I don't make everyone else miserable. We leave, I still have my legs, and we just go leave with baby. What kind of ending do we get then? Okay. You stumble into street and pass to unconscious. Okay, that's gonna look really bad to the cops. Wake up in hospital with caring wife inside, and her smile make you feel annoyed. <laughs> hospital people heal you and give you wooden finger, arm, and legs, and return you home. But I, I, I wife didn't is so sacrifice my love. legs. She not ask where baby come from, but keep it and raise it his own. Oh. At first, you think baby cute, but now it only eat and scream and poop, and you regret and take with you. A friend of yours that tell you about the house is much angry. Oh, ruined everything. Well, he's the devil, obviously. You say that followers of Mishrael is broken up, and few that remain now selling t shirts at mall. Good, we Your that's wife not <laughs> either. Basically, just watch TV game shows and touch fiddlestick with wife out buying groceries. <laughs> you consider to divorce wife, but then you must buy own groceries, which seems like a major house. It really is these days. Baby girl handsome and with much charisma, but with eyes of unfathomable darkness. By age of 17, Baby have many devout followers, which start you worried because after Save Baby, you're not much nice to it. For example, sometimes you forget Baby's name, which is considered impolite for dad due to child. Yeah, I don't even- we, what were we calling him? Little Steven the Viking? That was ending two of five. Okay. I, I think the ending is always gonna be, um... The ending is always gonna end up with me being miserable. The only true ending, or at least in this game, is gonna be personal satisfaction. Um, which is kind of a weird, crappy ending, if you think about it. Okay, so what happens if we sacrifice legs? We'll pick a different ending for the book. Man, I really want to get this book done, I guess. Yeah, it always ends with them cutting off my legs. That's just a part of it. I get to complete my book, but I get to lose a part of me. At least it didn't take the penis off. That would have, that, see, that should have been in the game. You should have lost the penis. Uh, you did everything here, you finished your book, but you have no penis, and then you were seeking sexual gratification from all these young women, but you never got it in the end! That would have been truly classic. And more, more to do with, because religion has to do sometimes with a lot with punishment. I didn't, I didn't get punished, so if I do everything that the religion asks me, I, I honestly, I didn't get punished for picking the bad choices. I got self-gratification, which religion shouldn't provide. Anyway, can we leave with baby now? Wheelchair stop work the door, so you crawl into street and pass to unconscious. Yeah, okay. You wake up in hospital with caring wife inside, and her smile make you feel annoyed. Hospital people heal you and give you wooden finger, uh, arm, okay. and legs. Okay, it is gonna be this one. Home. Wife is so desperate for love, she not ask where baby come from, but keep it and raise it his own. Okay, so that's pretty much that ending. Huh, okay. It's an interesting game, and I guess, uh... I guess we learned a little bit about ourselves. Mainly, we want to... Actually, we would have left the cult immediately and would have never had to deal with this. So, yeah, that would have been my choice. Let me know what you think about this game and how you kind of perceive it. Uh, I'm going to do some more thinking and then probably edit, edit a description of what I think. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.